Welcome. So glad that you're able to join me for a gentle chair yoga practice. The practice today is about 30 minutes of completely being in the chair. So very relaxed. And if you're um, comfortable just sitting for a while, I'm grateful for you to be here. And I also honor you for making the choice to check out yoga. That's a very uh, helpful uh, practice for lots of good reasons. And I'm going to be doing a, another video, um, an introduction to yoga. So that will cover more of some of the benefits but for now, uh, whether or not you've practiced yoga before, uh, I want you to just feel free to relax, enjoy, and it's most importantly, don't uh, worry about being uncomfortable. If anything doesn't feel right, adjust how you move and how you sit and what you're doing so that it does feel comfortable. So to start out with, um, I'm sitting in a chair and making sure that the uh, chair is connected firmly to the surface of the floor. So I've got a mat, but if you have a wood floor, um, that works well, even a rug, a carpet works well. Just make sure the chair is not gonna slide around. And also um, really nice to practice yoga with no shoes on, with bare feet. Um, gives you a lot of freedom for those toes. Um, if you're more comfortable having something on your feet, um, it's better to wear shoes. Socks can be slippery on carpet. And so I prefer for safety reasons that you either go barefoot or have shoes on your feet. Also, uh, make sure that you have good back support. If you're sitting in a deeper chair, you might want to take a minute to find a pillow or something to um, support your back so that you can have a sense of sitting upright at the same time having your feet connected firmly to the earth. So your knees and um, thighs and feet are kind of at right angles to each other. So making sure you're comfortable, let's go ahead and get started just by settling in. And we come to yoga practice as a way to um, find some peace and calm and become more familiar with what's inside of us. And sometimes we have to take this time to get away from everything that's going on outside. And one of the best ways besides just sitting and being here is to start focusing on the breath. So I'll ask you to take a nice inhale, no stress, just a nice deep breath in through the nose and a soft exhale through the mouth. Nice and easy. We'll do one more. Inhale through the nose and just feel a sense of release with the exhale. And just noticing the breath, allowing the inhale to create a sense of openness in the chest and the upper body. And feeling that expansion and spaciousness, sort of beginning and even a sense of maybe freedom. So we're creating that space and that freedom to be able to move. Inhale through the nose and out through the nose. And I'll take a moment. Sometimes our breath gets shallow. We think if we just inhale and the chest lift, that's a good breath. So let's pay attention to how deep the breath can go. If you place your hand, one or two hands on the low belly, right around the, the navel, you can rest on your lap. Take a big inhale through the nose and send it all the way down into the belly. And notice with the inhale, how the belly expands and grows into your hands like a big balloon. And then just slowly let it out, let it release. Again, nice soft belly, getting big. And release. With the next breath, you can bring your hands to the rib cage. That's comfortable. And find the breath coming down into the belly and then also filling up into the rib cage area. Maybe one hand's on the belly, one hand is on the rib. Inhale, filling up. And exhale, emptying, releasing. Maybe you're sensing intention leading the body. And again. And exhale. 
And now this time, bring one hand to the heart space, right on top of your chest, the palm can rest here. Have a sense of complete filling of the upper body. The breath goes in, down deep into the belly, big Buddha belly, filling up into the rib cage and coming up all the way into the chest and exhale. So we're getting a sense of really expanding, opening the body from the inside out, creating that openness, space, and freedom. And now just relax the hands, relax the shoulders. You can keep the hands in the uh, lap um, or place them on top of your thighs. It's gonna wake up the shoulders a little bit. Just begin by bringing your right shoulder or your left shoulder, it doesn't matter, up to your ear. Just bring it up and then relax it. And second side, left shoulder or right, whichever one, it doesn't really matter. Just bring it up to your ear and let it relax. Up and down. Up and down. And this time with whatever shoulder you started first with, Take a minute to just lift your chest and bring the shoulder up, forward, down, and back. Up, forward, down, and back. You might notice that the hand on that thigh is moving forward and backward along the thigh, which is really nice. A little nice massage, connection. And then reverse, so your shoulder comes forward, up, back, and down. I just do that a couple more times. The shoulders and the neck just warming up, loosening. And then bring the hand back to neutral, back to center and the second side. So bring the opposite arm and shoulder back, up, forward and down. And just continue in that circling motion a couple times, releasing all the tension that we carry in the upper body, the neck and the shoulders. So much weight, the weight of the world sometimes. And then pause and reverse going in the opposite direction. And if it feels really good, we can move both shoulders at the same time in either the same direction or the opposite direction. So let's go same direction, up, forward, down, and back. And you can play around with this anytime when you're sitting somewhere and you're feeling stress and tension in the shoulders and reverse, coming back. Just the movement, gentle, slow, rhythmic movement, very good for the joints and lubrication and relaxing the muscles. Let's pause here. And I'm going to scoot forward on my chair a little bit. I'm going to make sure my feet are connected to the floor and that they're about hip width apart. Place my hands on top of my thighs. We'll take a minute just to notice here how we're sitting. So there are bones right at the bottom of your hips, we call them sit bones. So see if you can move a little bit of the tissue away from your sit bones and find a connection between the bones and the surface of your seat. From there, just take a moment to see what it feels like to sense your shoulders lining up with those hip bones. And moving up even farther, the back of your head may be lining up with the back of your shoulders and your hips. So the alignment is really important. We spend so much time over the computers and our phones and devices and doing things with our shoulders hunched over. We think we're sitting upright a little bit, but when we focus on how we're aligned, sense even greater lengthening and opening of the spine. From here, just begin to slide your hands forward and backward on your thighs. And you'll notice a little rotation in your shoulders. And you can allow the shoulders and the abdomen, the mid body to just go along with that twisting motion. And there's no forcing, there's no need to um, create more of a twist than is comfortable. So just notice what it feels like to move the middle of your body along with the shoulders and the head from side to side. And you can bring your hands back 
along your hip as far as you like and forward maybe up towards the front of your knee. And just sense opening in the chest from side to side. Nice, gentle, simple upper body twist. We're really wringing out stress and tension. All the organs in the abdomen benefit from gentle, easy twists. And now coming back to center, just kind of waking up from the center of the body, from the core. Allow one hand to come down to the side of the chair by your hip. Bring the second hand, it doesn't matter which one, to your waist. You have choices. You always have choices in yoga. To the waist, you can bring your hand to the shoulder blade, or sorry, the top of your shoulder. Or if you'd like, you can extend the hand up over your ear, lengthening. Nice big inhale, keeping that alignment we talked about. Then exhale, just gently lean over to one side and breathe here. Notice the breath coming into the rib space on the side, nice open side. Bring your hand, feel free to move your hand to the shoulder or the waist, whatever is comfortable, and then come up to neutral. And second side, bringing the hand down to the side, the second arm can come up to whatever position you choose. I think I'll, maybe I'll keep my hand on the shoulder this time. And just coming over to the side, you can use the elbow to kind of create a little bit of uh, more opening, just allowing space between the ribs. Oh boy, breathe into that space, expanding from the inside out, um, all parts. And then coming back to center. And let's bring the hands back down to the chair. Put one hand on each side of the chair and I'm going to um, turn sideways here so you can kind of get a sense of what you might be going towards. So going into a spine extension that's called Cobra Pose. And so I'm going to connect my feet to the floor about hip width apart and like sitting a little bit towards the front so I can get a better connection. But at any point you feel like that's too much strain on the back, you can always feel free to put something behind you or move back to the back of the chair. So the hands are connected to the seat of the chair and sense a strong connection with the earth and just pressing into the earth with your feet. Allow the spine from the tailbone to grow and lengthen all the way up the back. Lifting the chest all the way up through the crown of the head, keeping the head looking, the gaze straight ahead. So we call that neutral. You can use the palms of your hand pressing in the chair to maybe guide a little bit more extension and lengthening of the spine. And just pause here and breathe into the open chest, lengthening with each inhale. And then exhale and relax. I'm gonna turn well, actually, I think I'll stay right here. So allow the hands to come out in front. And if this is um, a strain on the shoulders or arms, you can lower the arms and rest your hands on the top of the thighs. Clasp the fingers, the palms are facing you, keeping the chest lifted. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, press the knuckles away from your body. Feel space opening between your shoulder blades in the back of the body. Pause here, inhale again, lift the chest. And exhale, more space right in the middle of your back. And then reverse the hands if this is comfortable and if you have trouble with the wrist or whatever, just make a, find a position that allows uh, your hands to maybe push away that doesn't cause too much strain on the wrist so that your palms are facing away from you. You're looking at your knuckles and the same thing. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale, pressing away from your chest with the palms of your hands. Nice work. And now bring the hands back to the lap. Place your hands in a way that's comfortable along the side of your body. And if it's accessible to you to bring the hands behind you, feel free to do that. They don't have to touch. They can be at the back of the side of the chair or towards the back of the chair. So we're gonna open the front of the chest. We just finished opening up the back and now we're gonna to move to the front. So inhale, just allow the chest to rise. Gaze is straight ahead. 
and exhale. And this time I have a sense with the inhale of hugging the shoulder blades together and exhale, relax. And then coming back to the center and I'm gonna turn around and face this way. So I'm gonna come up to the front of my chair again and bringing my feet so that they're firmly connected to the earth, to the surface beneath me, hip width apart. And since we're staying in the chair, we're, we'll practice a little bit with how to engage the muscles in our legs without having to stand up. So if your thighs are about hip width apart, lifting the chest, have a sense of pressing your feet into the earth. Just activate the muscles in the upper thigh and actually the whole leg and just press and connect firmly with the earth and then relax. This time when you're pressing your feet, connecting with the earth, have a sense of contracting the muscles on your thighs and in the lower legs. And it's a, a sense of like just bringing the muscles in to hug the bones to support them. So you can all sense that the thighs are wanting to move together, but they don't really move together. The muscles are just connecting with the bones in the legs. Pressing the feet onto the floor and relax. You'll notice this next time, engagement and a sense of contraction in the gluteal muscles in the back of your body, your hips. So we'll sense the feet, the leg muscles and the hips all contracting at the same time, squeezing in towards the center, the hips towards the spine, the muscles to the bone activating those leg muscles, hip muscles, nice job. That's kind of, a, kind of some work that you're doing there. And then go ahead and relax. And that might feel a little bit tense or tight. You can, anytime you want, just stop and it'll make my voice jiggle. Just relax the muscles, make them feel good. So staying right here, I'm gonna ask you to extend your leg and I'll, Turn sideways again so you can see, it doesn't matter which leg. Extend one leg straight out in front of you. Keeping the heel on the floor. And it's straight at the best you can with the leg being straight. The other leg is bent and the foot's connected. Begin to flex the foot, bring the toes towards the nose and then point the toes towards the floor. So you're extending the ankle the top of the foot. And if there's any concern about arthritis or tension or maybe some injuries in the ankles, just take it easy, just make it feel good. Um, there's no point in forcing any of it. We're just keeping the joints, the muscles, the bones loose, awake. And then in your own time, just begin to keep the heel on the floor, but begin to circle your ankle around that heel. And you can bring the toes up and press them to the, towards the floor, up towards the nose as you're making a circle in one direction. And then the second direction, reversing. So just keeping the ankle joints flexible and strong and then come back to center. Bring your foot underneath your knee and extend the second leg. Same thing, heel is on the floor connected and just begin to point and flex the toes and point and flex. And feel free to move your foot in any way that feels good. You might move it side to side. We do that with circling, just begin to circle one direction. And then the second, second direction. And then coming back to center, bringing the foot right underneath the knee. Pause here for a minute. Notice the bottoms of your feet. And we talk about the bottoms of the feet having four corners. So press into the floor with the ball of each foot and then kind of roll the foot out. Notice the connection with the outside of the ball of your foot. Do the same thing with the heels, the outside of the heel and the inside of the heel. So you're just aware of all of those points that support you, support your activities. And then just begin to lift your 
heels up off the ground. Notice a nice activation in the lower legs. You can press into the floor with the balls of your feet, lift and spread the toes. Spread them wide, a little circulation in there. And then just rolling your feet back onto the floor, slowly connecting with all four corners, bring your heels back down. And this time, press your heels into the floor, just lift your balls of your feet off, the toes come up, spread the toes wide. And just continue to lower the ball of the foot, lift the heel, kind of rocking back and forth, massaging those four points, those four corners of, the, of your feet. Just a few times in a way that feels relaxing. And then coming back to center, bring your feet so that all four corners are connected and then begin to draw your toes back towards your heels. Curl your toes under, notice a little bit of an arch in the inside of your foot maybe. And just, and if this is uncomfortable for possibly arthritis or um, any, any foot problems you might have, just you don't need to squeeze really hard. Something that feels good, feels like a nice, um, uh, kind of a massage and then release. So you're just curling the toes under, lifting the arch a little bit, the heel stay connected to the floor and release, pause, lift the toes up off the floor, spread them wide, let the air circulate between your toes. And just notice the space, the feelings, the sensations. And then bring your feet back to the floor. And I'm going to just turn this way again. And bring your arms your hands together at the heart space, palms facing each other and lift the chest and then allow the shoulders to open, bring the arms out to the side. Find some space in the front of the chest. If it's accessible for your shoulders, you can move your arms like this, bring the hands down so that they're parallel to the floor, bring them back up, working the elbow joints, shoulder joints. You can move your wrists up and down side to side, back and forth. And you feel like drawing your elbows together, open up space in the back of the, the back between the shoulder blades, just bring your palms together, elbows together best you can. And then opening the elbows, bring your hands to the side. So pausing here for a moment. Going back to activating the legs, we'll work our way into warrior one pose. So draw one foot a little bit back, maybe underneath the chair a little bit. And your second leg, the knee is bent, the ankle and the foot is right underneath the knee. Take a moment to notice again, your sit bones, your shoulders are aligned and inhale, lift the chest in warrior one pose. You can bring both arms up. Straight in front of you, you can bring the arms to the waist if that feels better to you. Arms can be straight in front, can come up. Just lift the gaze a little bit. You can even hug the hands, the arms together as if there was a ball between your hands, engaging the arm muscles. You might want to even activate the leg muscles, hug the bones, draw the muscles, everything towards the center. Pause and breathe. and relax, move to the second side. So bring your back foot forward, your front foot back. May want to um, pay attention to what's going on in the abdominal area this time, just as a, being aware of how that can support a pose that's a little bit more active. So connecting your foot to the front foot to the floor, inhale, lift the arms, lift the gaze just a little bit, reaching outward, you may or may not want to hug your hands together, draw the legs sort of isometrically, don't really move them together, but the muscles are connected to the center. Maybe the belly tones a little bit with this. 
Inhale and pause and breathe. And then bring the hands back to your lap. Bring your back foot forward. And I'm gonna turn forward here. We'll spend just a few minutes. Um, bring your feet about just kind of unwinding now, just a few minutes out towards the end of the, the practice. Bring your feet about hip width apart again. And I'm gonna scoot forward just a little bit in my chair. Keep my hands on top of the thighs and allow both legs to rotate in one direction. And when my legs go to the left, I'm gonna just turn my shoulders a little bit to the right. Call this windshield wiper. And then I'm going to rotate everything. My legs, knees go to the right. My shoulders go to the left. The hands can slide from side to side. The shoulders and the head follow. Back and forth again, twisting the spine, the mid part of the body. Just nice and soft and gentle. And then coming back to center. Walk your feet so that they're right next to each other. And you may close your eyes for this. And if you want to keep your eyes open, that's just fine. Allow the, let the knees to just gently fall apart, seated butterfly. You might notice that the bottoms of your feet may want to meet a little bit if your knees are apart. Bring the knees together and open again. And one more time. And then bring the knees together. Now this time walk your feet so that they're a little bit farther than your hips, a little bit farther apart than, or wider than your hips. Bring the knees together. You'll notice a different muscle sensation on the outside of the thighs. And then roll your feet, the bottoms of your feet so that your knees open. And then close. And your bottoms of your feet might come up off the floor a little bit. They may not. Depends on what feels right for you. And then walk your feet back to center. And then I'm gonna make my way back in my chair and just take a moment now as we begin to come to the end of the practice. Just gonna make sure that my back feels comfortably supported and my feet are connected so that I can become completely relaxed while I'm sitting here. Take a minute to just slowly move the neck from side to side, enjoying Maybe a little more flexibility, a little more freedom, having moved through the practice. Look side to side, close the eyes, keep the eyes open. Coming back to center, allow the left ear or right ear to drift towards the shoulder. Breathe into the side of the neck. Coming back up to center, second side. The ear drifts towards the shoulder and back up to center. And now allow the chin to just slowly drift towards the chest. You'll feel a little sensation of opening in the back of the neck down into the tops of your shoulders and just enjoy this. If you feel like sliding your chin across the chest, do that and access a few more stretches in the back of the neck, which it's so tense. And coming back to center, the chin is at the chest. Allow the chin to come up and the gaze to come forward. We'll take a few moments at the end here to just completely be still for Shavasana. Finding again, making sure you're comfortable in your seat, you know, areas of stress or tension, a place where you can Completely just be and give your body, your mind, the gift of this calm and quiet space. Permission to just be, nowhere to go, nothing to do for just a moment or two more. Allow the breath to come in easily, noticing the breath. Still here, still available to you. 
to create ease. And as the breath moves into the body, the lower body begins to relax even more, feeling heavy and supported by the chair. The legs are heavy, feet are connected to the earth. Pause for a few more breaths, complete relaxation, giving your body the gift to absorb what it needs. One more nice inhale and exhale. And now bring your hands to the heart center, palms facing each other. Allow the head to drift towards the hands. Acknowledging the heart. Acknowledging your blessings. Thank you so much for giving yourself this gift of yoga practice. The light in my heart honors the light in each of yours. Namaste. And lift the head, lower the hands, open the eyes. And have a great day. Thank you.